Welcome to Charter Schools USA. It is an honor and privilege to speak to you about my number one passion, educating students. I am extremely passionate about the education reform opportunities and movement in this country. Department of Education recently released a report showing that charter schools consistently outperform traditional public schools. Charter Schools USA takes the best of public education, combines it with what often many parents cannot afford from private schools, and puts students first to ensure that the entire educational experience for those children is focused on what works to ensure that parents are involved, technology is integrated to their instructional day, and that we have the best and most dedicated teachers in the classroom. Education is the great equalizer in America. Too often, though, it's focused on the adults, not the students. Charter schools have come back to the focus of putting the student first. I have two daughters in the charter school program and they are both having a wonderful time. They enjoy coming to school. They love it. Um, they're doing very well academically. I love coming to school. I've loved coming to school ever since I first started going to charter schools, which was in kindergarten. They really love all the extracurricular activities too and sports and clubs. They teach you like one-on-one. -on -one. They don't just all teach you as a group. If you need help, then they come up to you. They don't just leave you to the side and move on. They actually, actually stop the class and put it another way so you can remember it. The charter school is actually a public school. Uh, the difference is the charter school, um, you do voluntary hours. Um, you do not pay any kind of tuition. At the charter school, I feel as a parent, I have some more flexibility than I would in the traditional public school. I also feel that they are held to a higher standard. It's very important for me as a parent, and I really appreciate this at the charter school level, that my daughter is in a very safe and nurturing environment. She's been given all of the academics that we feel she needs at this point, and she is also going to be able to be exposed to all of the arts and all of the other extracurricular activities that are made available to her at the charter school. There's, it's a little bit more structured and regimented and for some kids that just works out great and in my, with my daughter it's been wonderful. They're involved in the before care program, the after care program, and they've participated in other um, clubs throughout the school year, some different sports activities, some of them have been more um, puzzle type clubs and learning clubs. Uh, they did a couple um, book and cook type things, practicing their reading skills and then doing an activity. I really enjoy in my reading class, my teacher does all these things, she really gets in depth with all the learning that we do. She makes sure we all know what to do, she leaves, if anyone has a question she always answers them. We always know how to do it and we always, as as a result, we always get good projects in because we've known how to do it. She's really taught us well. Many of our schools have become Cambridge International Schools under a partnership with the University of Cambridge in England. This affiliation provides a curriculum that encourages higher level learning and provides challenging lesson plans for teachers. When I got the course selection sheet for school, I knew I wanted to do something that involved music because that's what I've always wanted to do. So it was either choir or band and I decided choir and it was a good decision. <laughs> Our educational model uses student assessments and performance data to improve student learning and achievement as well as evaluate and inform instruction. With our guaranteed and viable curriculum at its core, our model begins with a baseline assessment and analysis of all available student performance data. Using this data, instruction is delivered, then assessed, graded, and reported back to the teacher who then makes a decision on how best to proceed. Bench Benchmark tests establish students' baseline levels of mastery or specific areas of need. Teachers use this data to differentiate instruction through various regrouping strategies to ensure each individual student's needs are addressed. 
One of our first and highest performing schools using our educational model was awarded the prestigious U.S. Department of Education's Blue Ribbon Award for Educational Excellence. Our student assessment process is very important to us in the process of making sure that students uh, are meeting their goals. Uh, we set goals with students individually and the, the only way to know if they're meeting their goals is to assess them. Uh, we try to do that as efficiently as possible helping our teachers with uh, assessment processes and also with students. With our teachers we try to house our assessments uh, on our basic skills within our student information system so that they have easy access to them. Also it helps us to standardize assessments between uh, classes and then grade levels. And then for parents, uh, it allows them to be able to get efficient and uh, speedy reporting so that they have the opportunity to understand how, as a parent, they can be in control of their child's education and be informed of, are they doing well? Do they need to spend more time with them? Uh, do they need to celebrate and encourage them? And all of that reporting and assessment being built into our student information system helps us to accomplish that. You definitely need art classes because it um, allows kids to express themselves in whichever ways they want and uh, gets their creative juices flowing. So for later on in the other classes, um, you, they can do their work and plus it breaks up your day. What we did was we used paint and we put it on our hands and we would make little crabs and she said we could keep them and now at home I use them for like stuff to help me count things. Sometimes school can be stressful with homework and exams but uh, music class helps me kind of get away for that for a little. And it's also good to be there you know with your friends and in concerts it's good because you're in front of a lot of people. PE just gets you up and it gets you like you get to move around and it just keeps your body moving and it's fun because you get to learn about a lot of new sports. We use innovative ways of helping students learn. Some examples are robotics. Um, I built a Lego table which allows some of the younger students to get you know, build some hands, you know, some hands-on things. It's really fun to use the robotics because you're able to actually get your hands-on experience rather than reading out a textbook which I mean, it's okay to do that, but it's more fun. It's really cool to program a robot and actually see it do the things you tell it to do and be able to carry out different activities that you make it do, and it's really fun to see it work. They learn STRIVE characteristics, which are things like citizenship and community and all that. The STRIVE program can build a lot of character, like, for example, eye contact and holding the door, which you can carry on into your later life and also helps you to be a good citizen. The one thing that I, I really notice when I walk into the school for whatever reason, um, the kids stop what they're doing at the Pledge of Allegiance is on. They pledge allegiance to the flag whether they're walking in from the bus, they're standing in the hallway, and I find that very impressive. They learn all of that through the charter school. SIS's Student Information System uh, it's an excellent source for parents. If you want to see what your child's grades are, you can log on as a parent. You'll have a username and password, and you can log right on in and see you know, if your student is missing an assignment or if they are you know, falling behind in an area. You can see if they have been absent, tardy, what their homework is you know, um, for the week. You can log on and see what, you know, information about the school, like what's happening. It's a very good resource for what's happening in the school and how your child's doing. SIS has a great communication tool. The parents can also email their teachers, uh, specialist, um, to the, even the teacher if they have a question. And we have a 24-hour turnaround of responding back to the parents uh, if any questions or things they need done. I like to come in class. I, f I find it very re rewarding for myself and for my child too because she feels special first of all when I come to school and I like it because it's um, I see um, that the children, she, my child is talking about children, I know the children, I like when the class is happy that I come in and they're happy to see me, they greet me. They are sad when I'm not allowed to come in because they're testing or something like this. So it's very nice 
when I see all the little ones saying, Hi, Mrs. Madman. Hey, how are you doing? And it's very rewarding for me. And um, I like it a lot to come in and see all these little faces lighting up when they see me. It makes me feel wonderful. I really enjoy being able to interact with not just my own children, but with their friends and their peers and the people that they spend eight hours a day in a classroom with. I like to be with their teachers. I like to see it from a different side and be able to help and give of my time. I like to be creative. So it's a lot of fun to work a book fair or to be able to be here on an art show day where the kids are exhibiting art projects that they may have worked months or an entire school year to accomplish. The children here work very hard at everything they do and to watch them and see them grow. Um, I, like, I work closely with the NJHS director. My daughter here is president of the National Junior Honor Society and seeing those kids, what they can accomplish, how hard they work. It's just an amazing thing that you don't get to see unless you spend time in the building and you spend time with the children and you work closely. And it's a, a very, very big privilege and I am privileged and happy to be able to do that. From the moment we break ground, we are well on our way to finalizing a beautiful new school. Each school is uniquely designed for the needs of the community. Our team of development experts expedites the building process and is well known for delivering a high quality building on time, allowing us to open the doors ready for students on the day we promise. Our hours are from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. We offer affordable before and after care. Pricing information is included in your registration packet. In most cases, parents provide their own children transportation. The school will provide transportation for students who live within district-recognized hazardous walking conditions. We have a great student pickup process here. Our parents drive our students to and from school. And after the first couple of weeks, which may be a little rocky because it's a learning process for all of us, once we learn the routine, it's virtually seamless. I feel as a parent, it's very safe and secure for my daughter when I am picking her up during that process. The charter school will utilize a service delivery model of inclusion for students with disabilities and will work with the district to determine the proper placement for students with disabilities within the full continuum of services offered by the lead education agency. The school will implement the same identification, evaluation, placement, and due process procedures as other traditional schools in the district. The school will serve students with disabilities whose needs can be met in a regular classroom environment. Environment, at least 80% of instruction occurring in a class with non-disabled peers, with the provision of reasonable supplementary supports and services and or modifications and accommodations based on the student's needs. The school will ensure to the maximum extent appropriate students with disabilities will be educated in the least restrictive environment. I actually feel that it is a savings of money because my children are wearing uniforms, they are dressed appropriately, I don't have to purchase them a lot of extra clothes. The kids wear uniforms, um, which I, I like. Um, there's no kind of competition with the children of what they're going to wear the next day. My daughter gets up, she puts her uniform on, it's a great thing. There isn't much popularity with clothes because everybody looks the same with their uniforms on and everybody is equal. They even, I think, enjoy having uniforms where they don't have to worry about what they're going to wear and peer pressure and all that kind of stuff. A nutritious lunch is served daily. We offer free and reduced price lunch as needed. Applications are available at registration and are kept confidential. We are deeply committed to the communities in which we serve. We bring jobs, support local businesses, and get involved in community activities. We are members of your community, serving your community. 
Charter Schools USA is the first charter school management company in the United States to receive accreditation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. That means that every new school is automatically SACS accredited from the day it opens its doors. Thank you for taking precious time out of your busy day to focus on what's best for your child. At Charter Schools USA, we know that an involved parent is the most critical factor to a child's success. It's important that you learn everything about what is best for your student. You should send your child to the school because all the technology and new learning experiences are great in a way to a successful future. You should come to Charter School because it helps you more with your education. It gives you a fun way of learning things. Because of our award-winning curriculum, beautiful campuses, nurturing environments, and dedicated teachers, we often have a waiting list. Don't delay. Seating is limited.